Kansas City laying north of a touchdown, and we haven't seen a ton of movement off of that. Although, ironically, it's actually funny. Actually, no, we, we have seen movement because I, I made a note of this in my, in my uh, sheet, guys. When I did the notes this morning for the show, I was like, oh, we haven't seen a whole lot of movement in this game. And then literally as I was getting ready to publish those notes, uh, we saw movement off of the uh, seven there, off the seven and a half down to seven. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of Broncos dog money here. Um, but, but Chris, are, I, I guess, does that surprise you considering Patrick Mahomes' record? Or is that, was, was that hook just too valuable for the pros to grab here early in the week? Yeah, well, I mean, it, we saw uh, on that Thursday night football, uh, the Broncos were able to keep it close. If they had had any offense whatsoever, they would have covered. Yeah. Uh, and traditionally, when you talk about these AFC West matchups, uh, strange things happen, and especially at elevation. So uh, my numbers clearly say Kansas City is a bargain, even at seven, but it doesn't pass the sniff test, so it, it's a very teaser and money line parlay friendly game for me. Uh, but with this AFC West matchup uh, and the uncertainty of Denver's, uh, you know, motivation and capability, frankly, uh, I, I, I just don't want to be in a position of laying more than a touchdown or needing more than a touchdown to win a game on the road. So I, that's that's where I'll be on this game. Yeah, so we like the teaser with um, because Kansas City is going to win for certain. Um, the <laughs> when these teams played two weeks ago, it was one of those plinko games. So you know, Gil Alexander um, straightened me out on what a plinko game is. That's the Price is Right. They put the hockey puck and it goes choo choo yeah. choo 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 choo, choo and it lands. It, it has to land in cover or no cover, and Kansas City covered because it plinko to a, a, a last minute field goal where they went from eight to 11 point favorites. If they get one more first down, they win by eight. I could see this game plinkoing between seven and 10. So uh, either way, Kansas city wins. Yeah. Again, when, when you see that, 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 that hook evaporate earlier in the week, right. It kind of tells you that the, the, the pros think that this is going to be one of more, the, the more nip and tuck games. Um, even though the Broncos, I mean, <laughs> Broncos, <laughs> Russell Wilson's never, or uh, Patrick Rollins has never lost to the Broncos. So uh, there's your certainty right there that the uh, Chiefs are going to win this game because it has never happened before uh, as Patrick Mahomes has been. Yeah, well, I've had three weeks in a row of certain winners losing. So (laughs) (laughs) that's the famous. Well, I laughed when Steve said certain because that's usually the famous last words uh, when uh, (laughs) when we are certain of anything in this space. That is usually when things become unstable. But it does look like the Chiefs. Uh, are a very popular teaser item this week. Of course, we talked about the math a little earlier in the show. It makes sense to do um, the the teaser down to a half a point there on the Chiefs because, of course, uh, of what you're paying for the money line price. So keep an eye on those teasers this week. Six and a half point teasers on the on the Chiefs from seven to a half makes sense. Um, I think uh, both you guys are pairing it with the Saints, if I recall correctly, uh, from earlier in the show. So Chiefs and Saints, six and a half point teasers. But it's here. fine if you yeah. want to tease the Chiefs and other teasers from seven down to one. There's nothing wrong with that as well. Mm. So the yeah, Chiefs is, in a six this point This is a great also. week to be doing three and four uh, yeah. uh, team teasers where you get the better pays and, and just mix them around. And that's I certainly totally worth. agree. I totally agree. This is a big teaser week. Speaking of teasers, maybe this next game will be a good teaser game. We'll see. 